Good day, and welcome to another edition of our Lenten Reflection. My name is Reverend Father Patrick Balogun of the Catholic Diocese of Ijebode. We reflect today on the theme, leaving behind our baggages to follow Jesus. This theme is taken from the Gospel reading of today, taken from the Gospel of Luke chapter 5, verses 27 to 32. It is the story of the call of Levi, or Matthew. The name Levi is the Hebrew version of the name Matthew, which means gift of the Lord. As Jesus was passing by, he saw Matthew sitting by the tax office. He looked at him and then called him and, and said to him, follow me. Scripture was quite dramatic in the description of the response of Matthew. It says, he immediately left everything and followed him. Now, for us to fully understand the significance of this call by Jesus and the response of Matthew, we need first to understand who a tax collector was among the Jews at the time of Jesus. The Jews considered tax collectors as horrible sinners, and they were placed in the same category as adulterers, Gentiles, robbers, and so on. Jews, typically, would have nothing to do with such people of filth, this was so because, in the first place, to be a tax, collector, a tax collector was a kind of betrayal of your own people. They were collecting taxes for the enemy, so to say, that is, the colonial masters, the Romans. Secondly, tax collectors were also known to be involved in very high levels of extortion, corruption, oppression, and manipulation of the people in order to make their own extra wealth. And so, being a tax collector signified living a lifestyle that was unwholesome. It meant being rejected by your own people. The only friends you could have as a tax collector would be other tax collectors. Now, Jesus must have seen the potential in Matthew and so called him out of the tax office, that is, the sin office, so to say. He called him out of his old ways into a newness of life. It was indeed an invitation that Matthew could honor or disregard. But interestingly, he responded positively. And scripture says, he left everything and followed him. Now, leaving everything in the case of Matthew means a lot. He left the security of his money-making job. He left a lifestyle that meant wealth and his livelihood for years to come. As we continue our Lenten observance, my dear friends, Jesus extends a very loud and strong invitation to us too today to follow him, to leave behind the baggages of our old lifestyles to follow him. But sometimes we are not able to respond promptly as Matthew did because of our various baggages that we carry. Sometimes it's a baggage of a sinful lifestyle at other times, it's a sinful lifestyle, it's a, some of the sinful lifestyles that we have as our sources of livelihood. And so, it's tough for us to make a decision to let go. At other times too, there are even emotional baggages that we carry. We are not able to let go of hurts. We have suffered from other people or some kind of bad experiences we have had in the past. Sometimes we just lack the courage to trust that the one who called us will take care of us. We still want to play God and try to secure our lives ourselves. This season of Lent, dear friends, is another season of grace where Jesus invites us to let go of our baggages, especially of our old lifestyles, and follow Him. When we do follow Him properly, we are sure to experience a unique kind of joy in our lives. The kind of joy that makes Matthew throw a big party, a big banquet, a joy that the world cannot take away from us. In this holy season, dear friends, I pray that God will grant us the grace and the courage to move from the tax office of our sins and baggages to a state of true followership of Jesus Christ, our King. May the joy of salvation fill our hearts and minds this holy season and always. 
Amen. God bless you.